Adina Dillard. Uh, she is recently married, but we won't really go into all that. But uh, Oh, let's do. <laughs> Dan always likes to delve into the personal part of your life, you know. But you're here to talk about Circle of Life. Mm -hmm. And that's a, I saw, a, I guess, a TV blurb uh -huh. about it and thought, well, you'd be great to come on the show and yes. just tell the public about what Circle of Life is. Yes, yeah. Um, Circle of Life is a part of a national model called um, Healthy Families America. This model is designed to help high poverty, high crisis families move on to a new chapter of their life and hopefully change the complete trajectory of their child's life mm -hmm. um, in the process. And so we're a home visiting program. We serve young moms um, under 24 years of age. They don't have to be married. Um, they can be single or married. Um, it just doesn't matter. And uh, we go into their homes on a weekly basis and we bring parenting information. We do crisis management. Um, we help them to get connected with their area resources and um, just serve them in w whatever way that they would need. Um, we have about 60 families in our program wow. and we serve Boone, Newton, Carroll, and Marion counties. And you're the so, coordinator of all that? I coordinate, yeah. Yeah, wow. and I have four um, home full-time home visitors that are underneath me and they serve each of the counties. How do people find out about you? Seems like that would be something that they'd have to yeah. really do some digging yeah. to find out. Well, things like this help a whole lot, just getting the word out. Word of mm -hmm. mouth is our best. Uh, means, um, but we also have good relationships with the area schools and um, the Boone County Health Unit, the mm -hmm. hospital, and uh, just different um, DHS, just different um, resources that can know about us and have um, our brochure, and if they have somebody that they believe will be eligible for our program, they contact us. So we try to continually build those relationships, and we try to make it mutually beneficial where uh, we can assist them if they need um, assistance as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we try to make those reciprocal um, agreements. The, the particular ad I saw talked to some of the participants in the program, and mm -hmm. even how new mothers, what a, a daunting task that can be and how yeah. you all have been able to help guide them through some of the roughest parts of being a new mom yeah, and get them out of whatever that level. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. there's a certain level that you just seem to stay at. Exactly. And, and so you're able to yeah. provide them with yeah, resources. Yeah, our, our goal, um, our overall goal is to help mom to make enough right choices and to learn how to make enough right choices that baby's life looks different than what mom grew mm -hmm. up in. And so we help our moms to um, learn love and nurture and attachment and breastfeeding and um, meeting all the baby's needs as well as not just meeting the needs but um, working on baby's development. We teach mom how to be the baby's, truly be the baby's first teacher. Mm -hmm. um, teaching them ABCs and colors and shapes and sizes and we help moms to get into a daily routine um, which helps baby's brain to know what's going to happen and where they're going to sleep each night and um, all of this is school readiness. Um, mm -hmm. we, want, we want them to be ready whenever they get to the head start um, um, age to just be ready to run that race and um, do really well in that and do really well in kindergarten. And the neat thing is that we have been in existence for close to six years now. Um, so we're starting to see our first kids that we served uh -huh. at the start um, hitting the school age and doing really well. Um, they know how to read really well and they're just, they're even advanced, a lot of them, because moms, the moms in our program learn how to um, read to them each mm -hmm. night in a strategical way where they're teaching them and just developing that relationship. And then our moms also set goals that just apart from their motherhood goals. So they set educational goals and employment goals. A lot of our girls are going to college um, first in their families mm -hmm. to do that. Nobody told them that they could do that. Um, and we come in and say, you know what, you're really smart and you did really well in high school. Let's go to college. Let's mm -hmm. try this out. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, I can't afford it. And then um, we say, yes, you can. Um, and we help them get connected with financial aid and um, resources through our, our college here. And I should mention that Circle of Life is underneath um, a partnership between the college and the hospital. And it's called North Arkansas Partnership for Health Education. Okay. And so we're a part of, it's NAFI is what we're called. And we're a part of NAFI. And we're one of many grants um, that are a part of that partnership to better the community. Okay. okay. So if, if someone is out there and wants to 
get involved with this program? What do they do? Yeah, um, you can contact me. Um, my direct number is 870-391-3506. Um, so you can contact me. Or you can go on to our Facebook page, which is Healthy Families America Circle of Life, and you can send us a message, and we'll um, get back with you. Um, we're also, our office is located at the Duran Center mm -hmm. on the third floor. You just okay. take a left off the elevator, and we're right there, and we can meet with you in person and, um, you know, just help, help you get set up. Okay. Um, so we just encourage anybody that would know of somebody that would like to get involved in our, in our program or if they would themselves come and see us and we'll get you set up. Okay. Thank right. you so much, yes. Dean. I appreciate you being here. Yes, Thanks. you're welcome. All right. Up next, we'll be talking with Kim Rawson about the Queen of Hearts. Stay with us.